So you want to know how to do the Hocus Pocus combo. I got you. So let's get to it. Important to note, number one, guys, left footed players on the right side and right footed players on the left side. As so, Leao on the left wing, right footed, Eto left footed on the right side. It's very important. You'll see when I talk about the examples. All right, let's start off with the right footed players since that's what most people tend to have. And I'm going to slow it down just so you can really see the details. So here we are, man. I'm going to slow it down. We're going to replay this one one more time. We go from the bottom, we go from the right stick moves from right all the way down and all the way up, as you can see. So that's how you do the hocus pocus with the right footed player on the left side. And we're going to get to the combo just in a bit. So I just wanted to show you how to do the hocus pocus in this direction. Now that you know how to do the hocus pocus with the right footed player, let's get to the combo. So this is the hocus pocus to elastico. And I will slow it down. Actually, I'll play it fast for the first time. Boom, boom. Hocus Pocus to Elastico. Now let's slow it down. And it should make more sense now that you know how to do the Hocus Pocus. And then we do the Elastico. And that's it. So that's really all you really need to know. After this, I'm going to show you something that's more, more, a little bit more interesting too. So let's keep going, man. Okay, so this is what is interesting about the move, the Hocus Pocus. It can line you up for certain other combos like the fake shot and a different kind of fake shot as well. It can be sharp. And this is this is, looks beautiful and it also destroys people. So I'm going to slow it down as well. So when you do a Hocus Pocus aiming at the goalie, it will line you up directly towards the top like, like so. So you can do a fake shot and it just ends up being sharper. Every time we do a Hocus Pocus, for example, and you end up, let me see if I can stop it at the perfect frame. Boom. Do you see how it lines me up looking upwards? If you do a fake shot to the left, it will be a sharp one. That's why it looks the way it does. So, yeah, and you can still do it, like I said, in Elastico. You could do it. You could be looking at the goalie. Do your Hocus Pocus. Aim. You can still do an Elastico in this moment. And it'll still be nice as well. But you can also go for the sharp fake shot. And that is, it just looks so sick, man. It just looks way sick. Hopefully, you know, with the slowdown, you can kind of see the movement. And it makes sense. It's a bit fast, but... uh the best that I could do right now, right? Because I don't have actual like ways to draw the image and stuff. But that's, you know, a good example. And what works here is going to work with a left-footed player on the top side. And this is why, like I said, you need right-footed players on the left side because Peter check left-footed player on the left side, this is what he will do. So yeah, it just won't work in the angle that you're in if he's not going to cut inside with the uh, focus pocus. But he will if he's on the top. But yeah, man, if you throw the left footer player to the top, then to the to the right wing, then you will notice that he does the move, right? Obviously, that's the it's a different fake shot because I'm not looking at the goalie. I'm not aiming at the goalie when I do the hocus pocus, but um, still a good cut. Still works as well. But let's slow it down, man. It's going to be the same thing, though. You grab, uh, you know, the whole you do the same thing, you know, down, I mean, up, down. And then you do your elastic, I mean, your fake shot. And uh, yeah. It would just pull off the move, man. So hope that hopefully that makes sense. It's a bit weird to explain, but uh, yeah, that's the combo, fellas. So that's it, bro. That's the combo. That's really all it is. This is the move that I got to like what rank one? The uh, was it this weekend? On the main account with that though, I just kept rinsing, repeating that same move over and over again. People just kept falling for it because it's a skill move combo that people don't really practice. The hocus pocus is kind of a weird one, you know. People don't really mess with that move. But it cuts you inside and you can do some crazy stuff. Anything that any move that cuts you inside, that kind of speed needs to be investigated, you know. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that review and uh, of that skill move and uh, catch you guys later. Peace.